Welcome to Excel metric number 1059. And if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have some numbers. And we need to conditionally format the top five, but only if they're past the hurdle 65. So if there's only two numbers greater than 65, then we only want two numbers. But if there's 10 numbers greater than 65, we only want five numbers highlighted. Well, this is conditional formatting, which means each cell has to have a logical test that comes out true or false. True, the formatting gets applied, like this 91. False, the formatting would not get applied. Now, there's two conditions. I'm going to go ahead and build my formula, a logical formula that will come out true, false, in the column off to the side. And when I get it working correctly, then I'm going to highlight the range, go up to Conditional Formatting dialog box, paste the formula, and add the number formatting. All right, so two questions of each cell. Well, the first one of course, is going to be, are you greater than 65? Now, since there's two tests, we actually are going to use the AND function. AND function is a logical function. You can put as many logical tests as you want inside of them. It's only when all tests come out true that AND will deliver a true to the cell. All right, so the first logical test is, hey, cell, are you greater than our hurdle? And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that. Now, comma, to get to the next logical test, well, wait a second. We have a 5 there. But we need to actually search through this whole list and find the fifth biggest value. And then ask the question, are you cell greater than the fifth greatest value? So I'm going to use the large function. Large function needs an array of values. I'm going to highlight all the values, F4. And then I'm going to say comma and the K. I need that 5. Now I'm going to click in the cell above and then down arrow and hit F4 to lock that. Now all large is going to do right now is going to search through this and just give me the fifth largest, so F9. As I copy this formula down, every cell will look at 87, Control Z. Now, if you had lots of formulas and this was a huge data set and you were worried about calculation time, you could actually use a helper cell and put the actual large over here to the side and calculate it once and then refer to it in your formula with the cell reference. But this is no problem. This is just a small data set here, so I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to say cell, so I'm going to start at the beginning, cell right here, are you greater than that just discovered 87, which is the fifth largest value. Now actually, that's our second logical test. I want to come back over here and reconsider, OK. Is the cell greater than 65? Yes, so I don't need an equal sign there. But here, since I'm talking about the top five, I want to include the fifth value, which might be 87. So here I want to add an equal sign. Here we do not, because we're, we're definitely saying, is it greater than 65? 65 should not be included. But here, if the cell actually is exactly equal to the fifth one, we want to include it. So we put an equal sign. And that's it. Control Enter and copy it down. Now I have these values. Uh, randomized over here so when we add our conditional formatting, we can see sometimes it'll give us less than 5, sometimes exactly 5. Well, see, is that true? Yes, absolutely. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there happens to be 5 this time. Let's go ahead, now that it looks like it's working, I'm going to copy the top formula. So I'm going to copy it in Edit Mode, Control C, Escape. Highlight this. I could now go up to Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or I could use the keyboard Alt H L N. Now I'm going to hit my arrow key to jump, and I want to use, and I want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Tab and Control V. There's our formula. Format button, and then add whatever formatting you want. You can go crazy there. I'm going to click OK, click OK. And just like that, now we have five. Now we can randomize these with the F9 key. So I'm going to hit F9, F9, F9. It looks like, well, now we only have four values, right? So it totally looked at that. 65, there weren't five values greater than 65, so now we only get four. If I keep hitting F9, sometimes I'll get, looks like I'm getting five a lot. So there I got four, there I got four, 
There I got four. There I got five. If you keep doing this long enough, sometimes they'll uh, only be one or even zero. All right, uh, logical formula and large function. We'll see you next video.